my phone for the past three days has been going insane with robocalls. Oh, I feel like everyone's has a turn at it. Mine's mine's done. I had my turn, and now they've left me alone. Now they're on to you. They're on to me, and it's seven yesterday alone. And is it what, the Chinese ones? No, I. It, what they do now is they call you. Let's say your first three numbers of your phone is five four one. Right. They'll call every five four one from five four one. So when you see a phone call coming, and you're like, oh, five four. They they must near live near me, so right. I so I answer it, and it's not. There was one that came through yesterday that was from Croatia, and, and I. I'm glad you knew not to answer that. No, I did. What? Why would you? Because I want it to stop ringing, and I want to see what it, what they say. And it's always a, a fake voice saying you're going to be arrested. Stay where you are. The police are on their way. I don't. So, what's the robocall part? Like, what do they want you to do? I I don't know. I mean, sometimes you can wait, and they they tell you you're going to be arrested. Okay, there's but unless war- you paid them a certain amount of money, or yes, there's a, there's a warrant out for my arrest. So, stay hmm. where you are. Uh, okay. Press one for you know somebody that you can pay to get this taken off. <laughs> but I never press one. I always hang up. Or they're so cheap the phone call just ends i'm like no i wanted to talk to somebody right so well the bad thing is now that they're saying so many of these calls are going through to people's phones yesterday was out of control today it started at eight o'clock with my phone oh shit that people aren't answering their phone at all anymore yeah who answers their phone in 2021 anyway like if i have a friend calling me it's because somebody died and they're calling to tell me somebody died otherwise my friends know like text me yeah so that's the bad thing 184 percent the phone calls have gone up in the past month alone yeah but like i said nobody's an- even my mother doesn't call me my mother my mother knows my mother texts me she knows i know but i still have to work yeah you know, so I still get calls from people I have no idea who I'm getting calls from because it could be I any. I hand out so many business cards every single day. I don't know. I don't have everybody in my phone, so I can't hook up my phone to say only answer calls that are in my phone book because right. then I would never get a call. Right. That's true. And I would lose a lot of business that way. So yeah. they're they're so ruining it for you everybody. You talk to a lot of robocall people. I talk to a ton of them. <laughs> and, and and the good thing is, is I'm onto their scam with the, you know, the 541 numbers. Mm-hmm. That's, I know that that's a scam. But I always answer it because it could be a customer. Right. So, right. They're, they're hoping for people like you. Exactly. But it doesn't work it doesn't work for people like me because I never answer my phone and then the minute I see it's a call I don't recognize, I immediately go and I hit block this number. But the bad thing is so now if I call a customer mm-hmm. to ask them a question or, or something, they don't answer their phone. Nobody answers <laughs> their phone anymore because the robocall people have screwed it up for everybody. You gotta text first. You got a text for saying, but hey, I don't it's know Anthony if it's a, from I, I don't, wherever. I don't know if it's a landline or a phone or a cell phone Right. when right, I text them. True. So I'm going to get that bounce back. You can't text the landline. No shit. I know I can't text the landline. I didn't know this right. was a landline. Right, right. So, yeah. So thank you, uh, Croatia people, for ruining business as we <laughs> know Croatia it. Croatia people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one didn't even try to mask it. I'm like... Cro- I don't even know where Croatia is. Of course you don't. It's somewhere in uh, Iran. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> is it in Mexico? It's not in Mexico. Is it in Florida? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Croatia is in Florida. You don't Jeez. even know where it is. You're looking it up right now, too. No, it's in the Balkans. Everybody knows that. That's not even a, That place doesn't even exist. I don't believe you at all. <laughs> okay, go to, go to, go to a map. Uh huh. And look it, look it up. It's okay. So it's right across from Italy. Actually, it's right across the water from oh, Italy. Oh, it's near yeah. Hungary. Yeah. Uh, Slovenia, Sarajevo, Kosovo. It's all in that same. It's all. It's all that down that same coast. See, I didn't even know that that was like a. a no, that's not. Okay, Greece, Romania. <laughs> Nobody lives there. 
You say Greece like you never heard of it. Okay, Greece. Like that's a place? <laughs> Greece? What the heck is Greece? Greece? Why would that be a thing? There's Athens? No, <laughs> Athens is in Georgia. That's not... Seriously? Well, I mean, and the good thing was, is yesterday, I speaking of maps, I found yeah. out that Mars is actually farther from the sun than Earth is. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, that would make sense. Why would that make sense? Because, all right, so the sun is the center of the solar system, and then the planets orbit around. But we can't all orbit around the same orbit. So some have to be further away, and some are closer. No, that way I we don't hit that, each other. <laughs> but I thought Mars was closer to the sun than Earth was. But I found oh, I out see. that it's not that way. Mars right. is actually farther from the sun. Because I was looking up that the, they, they had this fake drone perseverance yeah they mm -hmm. this fake drone that they landed on mars oh are you I don't start with this they did land on mars yeah you they idiot. did they, <laughs> <laughs> they landed it on mars and so the drone landed in in croatia <laughs> and they said it was mars so i looked it up where mars was to see how hot or cold it was and it's really cold there they say so i uh -huh. i don't believe they went there People aren't there. It's a it's a it's a rover that they landed on Mars. It's, it's a drone NASA's, that landed in Croatia. NASA's Perseverance. It landed in. <laughs> <laughs> they have film. Okay, tell me this. Yeah. Riddle what? me this, Batman. Yeah. Uh, it takes eleven minutes to get a photo back from the rover to uh, the the Earth. Yeah. Uh huh. Because it's a far it's a far distance. Right. It's not right around the corner. So when you uh -huh. hit send on your text, it takes 11 minutes for the text to get here. Which is amazing, by the way. That's a that's very quick. That's quick. So 11 minutes. But that mm -hmm. thing landed on Mars, and I watched it land on Mars. Uh, <laughs> and like four minutes later, they had a photo. Right. I don't know. What's your point? It didn't take 11 minutes. It came back in four minutes. Well, who said it took 11 minutes? That's what they said. I, I listened to I, I listened to the whole people for two hours before the the drone landed on in Croatia, and they t t told it us all this stuff. It didn't land in Croatia. It landed on Mars. No, it was a picture. It must have been a photo. I don't know the one you're talking about. It must have been a photo that it was taken as it was landing, and 11 minutes later, they received it. It was like but four, you minutes were only four minutes You were only four minutes into the story. It was four minutes for you. It takes four minutes from Croatia to get a, phone, a picture back. Oh, my back. God. Are you serious? <laughs> Don't even go there. This is your... No, I, I I think they actually did land on a planet, and it was Mars, and it was very cool. I watched the whole thing. Okay. All but, right. I'm glad you're, glad you're on board with NASA. <laughs> you don't think NASA is some BS organization not that's since 1968 so oh. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never get me to believe that so yeah, yeah congratulations to them so you believe they landed on on mars but not the moon which is like right here like you could you see you could see the moon every night like they didn't land on what you can see out of your window every night but they landed on something really really far away that you had no idea was even as far away from from the sun as you thought okay that th that they did land on riddle me this batman oh god <laughs> <laughs> they had uh, they had really a hard time landing this drone on Mars. Right, okay. You know, they, they were like, you know, it, it's, it's, you know it's, it, it was a pain in the ass to get this thing to Mars. Mm -hmm. This is 2021. Yeah. They have lots of computers and all that. Back in 1968, the size of a computer was the size of my house. Okay, right, uh-huh. So you're going to tell me in 68 when they couldn't make a Cadillac go for more than 60,000 miles that they landed <laughs> a rocket on the moon. Yes, it's different technology. I know this is going to be shocking, but car technology and rocket technology are two completely thing. different things. They run on different fuel, and they have different no, it's the um, same aerodynamics no, that make no, them work. No, no. They, they barely, they had, they had color TV for a year.
They couldn't figure out how to get color from <laughs> Universal Studio to my house, but they could well, hey, land. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Because of all the things that NASA discovered, because they were able to do all the things they did, like send a man to the moon, like a rocket to the moon, they actually had a lot of inventions for us, like Velcro, for example. You know, they, there's so many things that they invented, not accidentally, but as part of what they were doing, that became things that we as a society can use on a regular basis that all started at NASA. You should take take a look at their website. I'm sure there's a there's a link there where you can see all the major technology that you use every single day that came from NASA and their space program. It came program. from Area 51 when the UFO crash landed. We're getting a physicist, an, an astrophysicist on here. Let's let's get one on here and let's let's talk to them. Okay? Let's find an astrophysicist that's not super famous that's <laughs> that would come on our show who's not so busy. A year before they landed on the, a person walked on the moon, they uh-huh. finally got uh, color TV to my house. But you're going to tell me they landed on the moon. Those are two and- different technologies. Color TV has nothing to do with that's the dumbest. That's the dumbest analogy I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> no, that's, that's as really, far really as technology stupid. went at that point. No, they it, didn't have cell phones. Technology wasn't one thing. It wasn't like here's technology and it can do these twenty thousand things. There's all different types of technology and that was, rocket science and and astrophysicists and and all that kind of stuff. Completely different than the type of technology that brings you a television. I go to. Bojangles now, and I go in the drive through and I go, <laughs> and that's four feet away. And I can't hear Bojangles, but we can talk to the moon <laughs> and talk back to them and okay. back and forth. Okay, you're in South Carolina. I'm in New York, and we're talking just fine. We're not talking like this. No, so if, if, even the McDonald's that I went to in, in New York is dumb analogy. <laughs> dumb analogy. No, it's Here, not. You, it's technology. You and I are ta- look, technology. You and I are talking. We are more miles away than you are from your, from it's the person. Fifty years later. Of course, okay, we so, have better technology. So take this up. Take this up with McDonald's and Bojangles. It's got nothing to do with when. With, in 1968, <laughs> I, I had to call Maybell to get her to call you through that little <laughs> phone. <laughs> the, the technology wasn't there. I think so. 1968, you can just pick up a phone and dial it. I don't think so. Yes, I, I think I, you I, could. I think there was regular telephones. No, there was. Just pick up and dial. <laughs> there were, right, but that's still, you dial a phone. You don't got to talk to Maybell. But, but you're going to tell me you can talk to the moon just fine without going. <laughs> yes. No, it's, it was on a delay, but you can certainly talk to them because that's different technology. It was it's a good, not the same technology it, as your phone. It was a and, and great as, and movie. As a, and I, I agree. The movie was great, and it, it was fun to watch the movie. It wasn't but. a movie. It was real. <laughs> we have to get let's let's get a scientist on here to explain this to you because I'm I'm not equipped. I just know that you're stupid. So let's get somebody on here who can explain to you why you're stupid. I mean, just knowing you're stupid is not enough. I want I want somebody on here smart that can explain to you what your problem is. Okay. By the way, if if anybody who's watching is a can explain this better, our number is 917-310-1330. That's 917-310-1330. If you want to give us a call and maybe help out or or agree Anthony, with me, understand or agree with me, you can agree with me. Nobody's going to call and agree with you. 